all hell breaks loose. This video is going viral everywhere. Conservative journalist Laura Loomer asked Hillary Clinton a question that everyone has been wanting to know. She asked, what happened to Seth Rich? Watch the video below. Hi, it's so great to see you. Thanks for having me, said Loomer. So the American people would really like to know what happened to your 33,000 emails? Ha ha ha, Clinton said back. What happened in Benghazi? Asked Bloomer. Go read the book, answered Clinton. What happened to the millions of dollars that was supposed to go to the people in Haiti? Bloomer asked, referring to the millions of dollars in earthquake relief donations the Clintons were reportedly in charge of. What happened to Seth Rich? What happened to your health Hillary? You know what, I'm so sorry you believe things that are untrue, Hillary replied. Read the book. After getting kicked from the signing area, Loomer ran up to Huma and said the following. Huma it's so great to see you. When are you going to divorce your husband for texting underage girls? Loomer asked Huma about her husband, Anthony Weiner. Loomer was detained by by Secret Service after this for 20 minutes, according to Cernovich.com. They were worried that someone was trying to grab a strand of Hillary's career because of Martin Shkreli's $5,000 bounty open for it. Laura Loomer previously questioned Chelsea Clinton at her signing about Johnita Broderick, who accused Bill Clinton of raping her. Share this everywhere if you will never be buying Hillary's book. We should not ever give this woman more money. She's already taken so much from this country. Let's show Hillary how many people are still against her. After betraying him on health care vote, this Virginia Republican gave Trump the gift of a lifetime. Democrats say that incumbent Barbara Comstock, RV, can be defeated in 2018 because her district failed to carry President Trump by nearly 10%. Democratic strategists said her vote against an Obamacare repeal in the spring was a sign that she was distancing herself from DJT. All these rumors came to an end when Comstock along with Congressman Peter King, RNY, Immigration and Border Security Subcommittee Chairman Raul Labrador, Republican Idaho, and House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlett, Republican Virginia, introduced the Criminal Alien Gang Removal Act. President Trump referred to the gangs like MS-13 in a speech to law enforcement in late July, saying we can eliminate MS-13 and root out the criminal cartels from our country. Trump specifically highlighted the importance of deportations curtail gang violence we're getting them out anyway, but we'd like to get them out a lot faster. Congresswoman Comstock is aiming to resolve that. Back in June she backed Trump's call for funding for police agencies combating gangs by introducing the Project Safe Neighborhoods Grant Program Authorization Act. The measure provides funding to anti-gang task forces. Now Comstock is supporting Trump's call to secure faster deportation authority for illegal immigrants with gang ties. The Criminal Alien Gang Member Removal Act ensures that illegal gang members are detained and deported if they are known criminal gang members participating in illegal activity. To prevent deported gang members from coming back the bill ensures they are not eligible for immigration benefits, such as asylum, special immigrant juvenile status, and temporary protected status. It remains to be seen whether Trump will endorse Comstock in her re-election bid but given Trump's unpopularity in the district she may not want it. Comstock has a Trump score of 95.3. The score, showcased on the website 538, is based on the how often congressional members vote in favor of Trump's agenda versus how often don't and other metrics. President Trump's speech regarding MS-13 drew controversy because of what many called an endorsement for police brutality when Trump said maybe officers shouldn't protect their head when they are put in the back of police cars. Gang violence has continued to plague parts of the country and illegal immigration has contributed to the rise of MS-13 presence in America. The El Salvadorian gang has been responsible for a number of deaths already this year including the death of a teen in New York.
Peter King, RNY, is a sponsor of Comstock's crime bill said we cannot tolerate innocent people in our communities being slaughtered, butchered and intimidated by these criminals regarding the legislation's goals. Take down Sarah Sanders just made brutal threat to Comey in front of everybody. Today seemed like a normal enough day at the White House press briefing. Everything started off just fine until one pesky New York Times reporter decided to ask if Trump felt bad about firing Comey yet. Bad move. That's when Press Secretary Sarah Sanders Huckabee jumped into action with her own brutal threat against James Comey. In front of the press corps, the American people, and God Sarah Sanders asked the Department of Justice to prosecute James Comey for breaking the law. But Sarah did not stop there. She talked about how Comey made the decision to exonerate Hillary Clinton even before interviewing key witnesses including Clinton herself. Comey also admitted to Congress that he was busy leaking documents to the press to set up a special prosecutor weeks before he was fired. She even went straight for the throat of the NY Times reporter, reminding them that their outlet was the one busy leaking government documents to pursue Comey's agenda. Sarah finished her takedown by saying that President Trump is very happy with the decision to fire Comey at this point especially considering all the terrible things that have come out about Comey since then. Pretty brutal, am I right? Still, the New York Times absolutely deserved it. Now we just gotta make sure it gets shared out everywhere so people see the truth about disgraced FBI Director Comey instead of the rosy picture the media paints. Jail time Comey gets terrible news after lying to Congress. It's happening. The outlook for James Comey wasn't looking good before, but it might get a lot worse if one GOP senator gets his way. During a press briefing earlier this week, Sarah Huckabee Sanders revealed that Comey had lied during interviews about the Clinton investigation. Since Director Comey's firing, We've learned new information about his conduct that only provided further justification for that firing, Sanders stated, including giving false testimony, leaking privileged information to journalists. He went outside of the chain of command and politicized an investigation into a presidential candidate. Now, Senator Ron Johnson is demanding that transcripts of the interviews conducted between the Office of Special Counsel and Comey's staffers be released. The committee has conducted oversight of the FBI's investigation into Secretary Clinton's use of a private email system. The information in OSC's possession could further explain the scope, course, and nature of the FBI's investigation, Johnson explained. He goes on to explain that the transcripts may shed light on what really happened before Comey decided Clinton would not be charged. If these transcripts are released, and they confirm that Comey lied, he may soon find himself on the other end of the law. No longer choosing who goes to jail, he may be there himself. Share if you support Johnson's efforts to reveal the truth. It could finally end Comey's lies for good. Reporter asked Sarah Sanders if Trump read Hillary's book, her response made him choke. Sarah Huckabee Sanders stands up to journalists almost every single day. Today, she was asked if Trump would read Hillary's new book. Her response is amazing. I think it's sad that after Hillary Clinton ran one of the most negative campaigns in history and lost, the last chapter of her public life is going to be defined by propping up book sales with false and reckless attacks, Sanders said. Sanders then put the nail in Hillary's coffin and said the following. I would that think that he's pretty well versed on what happened, and I think it's pretty clear to all of America, Sanders said. Hillary's book is currently number one on the Amazon bestsellers list, according to Hollywood Reporter. I guess a bunch of liberals needed to find out what happened last year. Help Sarah Sanders share this video everywhere to make fun of the loser that is Hillary Clinton. Comment this is what happened below, Patriots. Congratulations!
Eric Trump and his wife just made a massive announcement. On Tuesday, Eric and Laura Trump announced the birth of their newest son, Eric Luke Trump. He tweeted the following this morning. This is too cute, right? Don't you love the Trump family? They are the cutest. Let's show them some love because the mainstream media definitely won't. Look at all the beautiful support they got on Twitter. The Trumps were attacked by liberals, too. Check out the nasty things they said about them. Share this to support the Trumps and their new baby. Let's fight the crazy liberals and make this country great again. During speech, Mattis turned to Trump and said five words that made Trump's heart stop. Yesterday, Mattis did something absolutely amazing and the media isn't reporting it. The day began with a moment of silence at the White House and then the President and the First Lady traveled to the Pentagon to speak in front of the memorial of the plane that crashed into the building killing 125 people. As Mattis took to the stage, he said something amazing to our President. Check it out in the video below. The stage was right in front of where the plane flew into the building, and the Pentagon unfurled an American flag over the crash site for his speeches. Mattis gave remarks commemorating the 3,000 lives that were lost that morning and then critiqued the temporizing of the fight against radical Islam. It was a shot at the Obama administration. We Americans are not made of cotton candy. We are not seaweed drifting in the current, we are not intimidated by our enemies. Mattis then paused and said something amazing to our president. Mr. President, your military does not scare. What an amazing speech! Mattis then continued. Our nation's troops today are worthy successors of our revolutionary army at Valley Forge, worthy successors of our valiant sailors at Midway and our marines at Bloody Iwo Jima, men and women of your armed forces America having signed a blank check to the protection of the American people and to the defense of our Constitution, a check payable with their very lives. Your military stands ready and confident to defend this country, this experiment in democracy. God bless our troops. Share this everywhere if you are thankful to God that we have real leadership back in this country in the form of Mattis. He will make this country strong again.